Sorted. I'm sat here with Darren, who goes by the name of Quill. How are you doing, mate? Very well, man. Very Aye. well enjoying the latent sunshine. You know? <laughs> yeah. So as I was saying, man, um, you're not on the lineup this year, but you never know who's going to be kicking about Riverside, and I'm, I met you in the back. So thanks uh, for taking the time. No, no, it's good. To, it's nice to um, actually just cut about yeah. the festival and just enjoy it. Exactly, <laughs> man. Exactly. Um, so tell me a bit about yourself, mate. Like, where are you from? Are you from Glasgow? And like, how did you get involved in electronic music? Yeah, yeah. Glasgow, born and bred. Uh, God, it feels like such a long time ago when we started. It just, you know, from a love of music and um, wanting to start a night with our friends. And we went from bar gigs to a wee bit of club stuff. And then we got our break in uh, the sub club. Uh, our first night was Ben Clock on a Monday night in wow. 2009. And then it's just sort of went from there. And then yeah. this year, It'll be 18 years of Animal Farm, so wow. yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's been a long journey and it doesn't feel like that to us, so, but no, it's been that. great. Uh, flew by? Yeah, oh no, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. So, a lot yeah. of memorable nights, is there any that stick out? Oh, so many, man. I mean, from the first one to like, a, a lot more of the recent ones have been great. Like, like uh, after our lockdown and stuff, uh, we feel that there's like a new generation of people coming through, mm. and it's great to still see the Animal Farm or being able to sort of touch the, yeah. the sort of newer crowd and stuff like that. Mm. Um, you know, the harder music's kind of come through again, which is what I sort of started with. Um, so I mean, there's there's countless times and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, I, I, every every night is great, uh, and it all has its own. Stuff so yeah, there's too yeah. many, too many to name. Yeah, uh, growing up, mate, like what were your influences? Who were sort of, uh, who were the artists that inspired you to start doing nights and DJing? Uh, I mean, I, I sort of listened to like uh, I've always been into sort of harder, tougher sort of music and stuff. So when we started moving into like electronic stuff, you know, the sort of you know same people that I think everyone gets into, like your Richie Horton, Dave Clark, Jeff Mills. Uh, and then we just you just sort of find your wee niche, and uh, it was actually like Lamb who obviously started Animal Farm with us. He had a really good internet connection, so he used to download like sets, like Speedy J and stuff. And we just you know you just sort of gradually drift into the right mm -hmm. people. Um, but there's just so many people now and, uh, to try. That I'm just influenced by stuff all the time. But yeah, yeah like I mean, the original stuff, it's it's like the, the classic people and stuff yeah, like yeah. that as well. You know? So starting Animal Farm, you said that would have been 18 years ago. Yes, almost uh, near, near enough 18 mm. years ago, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, starting to put nights on and that, and like obviously fast forward to now, how do you feel that like, how has the scene changed in a sense? Like you're obviously talking about COVID and how post lockdown things have changed. Like, have you seen it yourself like, a difference? Because obviously I think the crowds you've seen at Riverside is a lot younger now. Definitely, man. I mean, I mean, obviously over lockdown there be, must be people who have you know turned 18 and. Uh, never been into a, a club environment before, mm -hmm. and what I've noticed is like you know, you know, I used to enjoy doing the warm up, and there was a progression of the night. Now people want to yeah. hear yes. <laughs> what would have been like your sort of heavy duty sort of headline sort at like eleven, mm -hmm. you know, from the start. So it's been interesting to see that sort of change, and I think we we sort of we started a new event a concept thing called Need for Speed. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was like you know, no warm up. You know, hundred and whatever from the start and all that. Face melting stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that was our sort of like sort of grab into like that sort of new thing. So th that's been the change. It's the crowd. It's seen the crowd change over the years. Mm -hmm. The music's still there and it goes up and down, the speeds and stuff like that. And, um, but I, I'm enjoying the fact that the the faster stuff's come back around. Yeah. I, I like that sort of thing. But uh -huh. I still I miss being able to do a warm up. Uh, at Christmas there, uh, I did an all night thing, just kind of randomly in the cheetah, and I was like, I'm, get, I'm going to get to play ambient yeah. into dub techno, into sort of uh, you know build it up, and people were like, going to bang it straight away, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. uh, oh, okay, <laughs> so, so yeah, it's just seen uh, the crowds of crowds have changed probably more yeah. than anything else, but that's good. You, you know, you want to see crowds change mm -hmm. and stuff, and there's more like the fact that more younger people are into it, and that's that's yeah. that's always a good thing. Man. How did the um, how did the name Quail come about? Where does that come it's from? It's just my second name. Oh, man. Is it? Yeah, 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 it's okay, just my second name, and, and that's where Animal Farms sort of started. So it was myself, and there was uh, two other members who we started. Uh, my friend Chris, his second name was Lamb, and then uh, uh, the third person that joined on was Charles Turtle. So we all had uh, we had animal second yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. So we. Animal farm. Go, it just kind of fell uh -huh. into it, sort of thing. So yeah. Yeah, 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 and like obviously going through the pandemic and all that. How did you find that as a promoter and an artist? That whole period where nothing was happening. Did you find it quite? I've spoken to some artists that <laughs> spent time in the studio. Some didn't find any inspiration. Like how did that affect yeah. you? At the start, I did. I made some stuff that um, myself and Rosie Aisha. Yeah, yeah. Ended up sort of putting out in so much. Like right at the start, um, as a promoter, I actually enjoyed. They're not being anything now yeah, because it's, right. very, it's very stressful. The promoting it's very competitive. City of Glasgow, mm -hmm. you're always up against something, 
so it was nice to have, like, not have to worry about that. So I did sort of focus on a bit of music for a while, and then I kind of didn't. Um, I mean, I've got a young family, so I got to spend yeah. a bit more time with them, and then, yeah, um, it was it was interesting and stuff. I know a lot of people have sort of done a bit more. I, I, I enjoyed the step back, probably, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. But then, you know, it's full pelt again. <laughs> right back into it. But it's good, you know, I enjoy doing stuff. I we're doing stuff every month between Room 2 and Subcorp and stuff, so it keeps, it keeps us busy. And uh, in terms of, like, the near future, what have you got coming up gig-wise and, like, releases and things like that? So, myself and Rosie, Aisha, we've got a um, couple of tracks on, like, a VA coming up on Balrog's label. Um, I've got a track on a VA on Animal Farm. Uh, I think that's sort of most release-wise. But again, like every month we're doing, last Friday we're doing either Room 2 or Subcom and we're sort of about to do a, a local hero, so some, some people from Glasgow, um, uh, Vanessa who's playing uh, tonight at Riverside. Uh, and then we've got um, a sort of schedule of stuff between Subcom and stuff like right. that, which we've not announced yet, so nah. I don't know when this will come <laughs> so I don't know what to say. Keep it explicit. Yeah, it? no, no, <laughs> well, um, you know, just the same sort of, like, you know, our, our sound, we've got some Need for Speed things and stuff like that in there as well, so yeah, it's good, it's good to be able to, you know, we have to keep on top of things, keeping things fresh and keeping things new, and then leading up to the, the 18th birthday at the Subcom in December, so yeah, just, yeah, well. yeah, keeps us, keeps Keeps me busy. Aye. <laughs> well, mate, uh, thanks for chatting to me, man. It's good no to get problem. to know you, mate. Thank uh, you thanks much. for taking the time. No problem, man. Cheers, Thank man. You.